Imagine being a poor college student, so broke you can barely afford to eat. Now imagine going on to become the CEO of one of the largest tech companies in the world with a net worth over one billion dollar. That's exactly what happened to Yang Yong Ging, the rags to riches founder of Lenovo. Yang Yong Ging was born in 1964 in a modest town in China. Like many others, he faced countless obstacles and limitations. But even from a young age, he possessed a relentless drive to succeed. In the mid-1980s, Yang was studying computer science at Shanghai Jai Tong University. But his family was struggling financially and Yang often had to choose between buying food and textbooks. After two years, he was forced to drop out because he could not afford the tuition. At 21 years old, his future looked bleak. However, Yang was determined to succeed. He got a job as a salesman at a small computer parts company. He worked 12 hours a day, learning everything he could about business and technology. His passion and grit impressed his bosses and he quickly moved up the ranks. By 1990, at just 25 years old, Yang was appointed as the head of new computer company backed by the Chinese government. The company was called Legion and it was close to bankruptcy. Things looked dire but Yang was up for the challenge. He made drastic changes. He cut costs, improved quality control and focused on innovation. Within a few years, Legion computers were best sellers across China. The company expanded internationally and was eventually rebranded as Lenovo in 2004. Yet, Yang's determination and innovative spirit fueled his ambition to turn Lenovo's fate around. He rose through the ranks, becoming the company CEO in 2009. Under his visionary leadership, Lenovo underwent a dramatic transformation, expanding its presence globally and evolving into a tech powerhouse. Therefore, Yang Yong King's relentless pursuit of excellence and his ability to adapt to changing markets propelled Lenovo to unimaginable heights. By the year 2013, Lenovo became the world's largest PC maker, dominating the global market. But success did not make Yang complacent. He faced a new challenge, the era of smartphones. The tech landscape was shifting and Yang knew that Lenovo had to innovate and diversify to thrive. Therefore, Yang led Lenovo through a series of strategic acquisitions, including Motorola Mobility, to become a major player in the mobile industry. His vision and decisive actions resulted in Lenovo becoming one of the world's leading smartphone manufacturers. Today, Lenovo is the largest PC maker in the world, having acquired IBM's PC division in 2005. The company has a customer in over 160 countries and workforce over 60,000 people. From 2018 to 2020, Lenovo has ranked number one for PC market share globally. But Yang Yong King's journey was not just about 
corporate success he also believed in giving back to society and championing sustainability therefore yang initiated various social responsibility programs focusing on education disaster relief and environmental protection his dedication to making a positive impact on communities around the world earned him respect and admiration beyond business accomplishments and yang yong king is now worth over 1 billion dollars he considered one of the most influential business leaders in china if yang yong king can achieve the impossible so can you embrace challenges stay determined and make a difference in your world remember greatness lies within each of us